Hello, welcome to Morris Money, where we give you stock tips in under five minutes. I'm your host, Morris Willie. Today, I'm talking about why I'm selling the first stock I ever bought, Utz Brands. Morris Money is preparing for its next destination, a thousand subscribers. Make sure you're here for the ride by subscribing to Morris Money. If you've been around for a while on the channel, you'll know that I've talked about Utz numerous times in the past couple years. And quite honestly, I love the company, but I don't love the stock. And there's something specific about the stock that concerns me and why I'm selling. That problem is the P.E. ratio. Utz Brands has a P.E. ratio of 134. Now to give context, no matter what sector you're in, your P.E. ratio shouldn't be over 100. Furthermore, 134. In comparison, let's look at some of their peers. From Seeking Alpha, I found Premium Brands Holdings Corporation, ticker symbol PRBZF, and Cal Maine Foods Incorporated, CLAM. To start with Premium Brands, they have a P ratio of 22, and Cal Maine has a P ratio of 10. Now, if you're not familiar with these companies, as I wasn't either, let's look at some industry staple brands and larger food companies that people usually say uh, could possibly acquire Uts. We'll look at Pepsi, Hershey, and Coca-Cola. To start, Pepsi has a P ratio of 26, Hershey a P ratio of 30, and Coca-Cola a P ratio of 28. Now, if we were to hypothetically value the company at somewhere around where Hershey is, you get a share price of roughly $4.20. That's evaluating the company at a P ratio of 30. Now, as it currently stands at $18.77, the current Wall Street estimate is at $9.13. This gives you about a 2% upside from this point. And seeing as I've made about a 10% profit from this investment, I think it's the right time to sell Utz Brands and move the money into a different investment or some potential penny stock investments where I could see the money potentially being used more productively. But this is just my thoughts and theory. Let me know what you think about the company down below, their PE ratio, and the current state of the company. Tell me all your thoughts in the comments below. Please don't take this video as financial advice and thank you for watching Morris Money.